บายพี่แอมโมให้เซรั่มบอมไซได้แต่เซอร์เลยดีกว่าไปเนี่ยโหเคยตัดโตเจ้าเก่าที่มันเจ้ามันเนี่ยบัวเหนียวเชียงทำไม Oh God please don't yell อืม Yeah Okay Um Myra's having a trouble signing in so just one second while I um send her the link again Okay. Hi, Mary. There you are. I did get in. I had to do it. I had to do it again. I don't know why. Anyway, I think it's a chronic I, issue. Yeah, I think it's because uh, you jumped on before I jumped on, and so I, as the host, I hadn't started the meeting yet. Um, right. But when I when that's supposed to work, so when the it says waiting for host, and then when the host comes, it's supposed to open. But somehow mine never does. Okay. So I, huh. if the host isn't there yet, I always have to go back. It's very weird. I must have a setting wrong. I don't know how to fix it. No, I, and I would have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah. good news so we, have, we, we have Elise. Yeah, I heard. Who else yep. do we have? Saren and Ian and Cody. So you definitely oh, have a quorum. We do have a quorum. Back, excellent. Is it 1130? Yep. OK, why don't we get started? Good. All right, which of course means that I yep. need to read the, yeah. read the stuff. But I the reason why um, I, was, I was running back to the office from another meeting. So I'm a little. Oh, OK. Sorry about that. No, no, no. That's all right. That's just I'm trying to put my hands on the uh, notice so that I can read it correctly. All right, here we are. So everybody now, great. Yes. So uh, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting of the Disability Access Advisory Committee will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone, see the instructions. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. So first business cool. is Whoops. Uh, that doesn't sound good. What are you gone? Are you there still? Can you not hear me? Yeah, now we can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're here for two reasons. We'll do this um, as quickly as we can. First, I want to thank everybody for being here for an extra meeting. I really appreciate it. The two things we have to do are one, um, approve that we send a letter to the regional school committee I guess, saying that we have reviewed the materials that they sent regarding the track, um, the, the uh, improvements Myra, that are proposed. Yes. Myra, sorry, can I just interrupt? Um, I think Pamela said we had to do roll call first. Oh, I missed that. Okay, that's, that's what she said that got cut out. Okay, um, at least for me. All right, um, we'll do the roll call. Okay, Elise Link. Here. Ian Rotterwalt. Cody Rooney. Here. James Crudenier. Here. Excellent. Jim, Jim Crudenier. I'm sorry? Oh, you're there. You just have to say you're there. Um, OK. And Sarah and Darren. I'm here. here. And Myra Ross, I'm here. We have, we have the full committee. Um, anyway, so the first thing we have to do is approve uh, say that we have discussed and approve of the proposed changes to the uh, track at Amherst High School, which they are going to reorient and rebuild in stages, I guess. Um, and I don't know if the gentlemen from the landscape company are here. I didn't hear them come in, but that doesn't mean they didn't. Yeah. So neither uh, Bob Parent or um, Kevin uh, Fusier are, are here. We had okay. said that their attendance was optional. Okay. Um, but they, 
the committee did or should have received their revised uh, memo with yep. the okay. Yep, and the, what it's different. What's different about the memo this time is that it addresses the issues of electrical um, preparation for a loudspeaker system for a, a hearing loop system, however they whatever they call it at the time that they actually put it in, um, and um, so there is there was no mention in the original memo about the. Uh, electrical work that it would be part of this um, so that in the future when they put up a scoreboard when they put in a press box when they do anything with visual or audio components that need electricity that they are um, that they are covered they said that they actually had done all of that work but they didn't put it in the memo so we asked them to put it in the memo um, does anybody have any questions about the memo or concerns that you think it doesn't address? Thank you. I see you. Wait, can't hear you. Uh, so there, no one's responded. There was just a little bit of background noise. Oh, okay. Well, that's why then I wasn't supposed to hear it. Okay. So nobody has any concern. So I think we can approve of the proposal um, for the work that's being done from the perspective of the ADA and the Massachusetts, um, whatever they call it, the Massachusetts, well, it's like the Massachusetts, um, what do they call it? The regulations that have to do with accessibility, accessibility I forget what they call it, from the AAB. Architectural Access Board. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I lost my mind. All right, from the... Um, so um, they addressed issues, actually, when they were here last week, they did address issues that they are incorporating into the proposed design that won't be built immediately, but that do supersede the ADA and conform to the MAAB regulations. All right, so can I have, if, if everybody thinks it's fine, can I have a motion that we write a letter to the superintendent of schools supporting this, um, or to the school committee. I don't know, who do we write it to? Um, Pamela, do you know who we write it to? So I, I think the letter can yep. be addressed to uh, Bob Parent and the um, and Kevin Fusier. And Cody um, had his, was unmic for a minute. So Cody, do you have a question? Uh, okay. Comment? No, I was going to motion. Oh, you're going to vote? Oh, you're going to make the motion? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, cool. All right. So Cody has made a motion. We need a second. I'll second, Elise. Okay. So we are going, do we have a motion to send a uh, Memo yes. to the um, the architect and to Robert Parent um, that we have reviewed and approve of the proposals that have been made in accordance with the ADA requirements, ADA and MAAB requirements. Okay, all in favor, I'll just, um, okay, Cody, you made the motion, I assume you approve? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, all right, uh, Ian? Uh, yes. Saren? Yes. Jim? Yes. Elise? Yes. And me. So it's, yes. So we're all unanimous about that. Great, thank you. I, I hope yes. that they actually, now here the proof is in the pudding, when they actually build all this stuff in the next five to 10 years, the track they're going to build now but the bleachers they're not going to build now and the you know the electricity the scoreboard and all that they're not going to build now and the lights they're not going to put in now so i hope when they actually build it they pay attention to what's in their proposal because the 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 landscape architect is not necessarily the builder and depending on when it gets built i don't even know if it's going to be consistent so that's my one worry about any of this stuff all right, 
the next thing we need to approve is a memo that I revised after we talked about it last week um, to the Amherst Town Council with the requests that we made, um, that we are making about the Triangle Street, East Pleasant Street roundabout intersection workaround, whatever you want to call that. Um, I think the memo is self-explanatory. Jim, thank you for teaching me after all these years how to spell Guilford's name, which I didn't know, which is sort of embarrassing. Um, and um, does anybody have any comments on the memo? Uh, Myra, this is Ian. I think it looks good. Oh, sorry. Okay. Elise, go ahead. Ian, go ahead. Uh, I just had one grammatical thing um, in the the third paragraph. Um, when it quotes, there's a quote from the Daily Hampshire Gazette, um, yeah. and there's either one too many quotation marks or one too few quote. There's there's three quotation marks in that okay. paragraph. Excellent, yeah. Pamela. Can you fix that when you send it out? Do you so, see so it? It's either one too many or one too few. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can um, can correct that. Okay, so what I did was I went back and Maureen uh, Pollock had sent us an article from the Gazette that dealt exactly with this topic. Um, and so I quoted from it just to make sure that they remember when this actually took place and that it was in the newspaper and that they did get a grant to do this work. What they spent it on, I don't know, but they didn't spend it on fixing what they needed to fix entirely. So um, anyway, that's why I put it in there. Um, and I don't have the exact date. That's why I said circa July 20th. Um, all right, Elise, you had a comment? No, I was just going to say it. I thought it looked good. Yeah. Okay. Wait. All right. Does yeah. somebody want to, uh, anyone else have a comment about the memo? No. All right. I need a motion to approve sending this memo to the town council. This is Ian. I'll, I'll motion to approve to send it to town council. Cool. All right. Thank you. I need a second. I second that. And Saren seconds it. Perfect. Okay. If the, um, I guess, well, is there any more discussion before we vote on this? Yeah. No. Nope. Oh, what, one yep. uh, tidbit. I learned a new word, and that was uh, tactually, in terms of tactually marking the, the curb. Oh, um, tactually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, is it a word? And uh, my spell checker didn't say it was. No, no, it it is. I I, no, I just um, I, I thought it had meant tactily, but it tactually no. is, is the actual word. I I, I uh, learned okay. the word. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Always like to be helpful nice. with vocabulary. All right, I but learned, the spell checker yeah. didn't say it wasn't a word. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> all in favor of the motion, we'll do a roll call. Ian. Yes. Um, Saren? Yes. Jim? Jim? Oh, you're, yeah. uh, you're muted. Okay. Yeah. Cody? Cody, would you like to He's vote? Muted. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Excellent. Um, Elise? Yes. And Myra, yeah. Okay. So, again, Great. we're unanimous. In sending this mess, this memo to the town council, hmm, I received a note from Pat about uh, five minutes before the meeting. She said she wouldn't be able to be here. Let me know what we need her to do. So I told her we need her to talk to Lynn about getting the work done expeditiously. And she said she would. So we need to send it to Pat. Um, well, I think Pat's name is on it. So uh, Pamela, are you going to send it? I mean, that's usually the way they want it to be done. If a yes. rank so to come I, from you. Will, I will put the memo on the DEI letterhead um, for the um, committee and we'll send it to um, Athena, to Lynn, uh, and Pat. And I think you okay. need the, Paul, um, the town manager. So those individuals will all get a copy of it. And Guilford. Yeah. Okay. Again, thank you, Jim, for teaching me how to spell Guilford's name. <laughs> it's been 10 years. How many? Anyway. Um, okay. All right. So I think we're done.
I don't think we have anything else we need to discuss. Correct? Uh, can I ask a quick follow-up question? Sure. This is Ian again. Um, is this something that would need any uh, public comment at a town council meeting to, to further raise awareness about it? I think it's for them to determine when they want to put it on the agenda. And okay. when they do, that's a good idea that we can ask them that they let us know and that some people speak to it if, if anybody wants to. Um, Pat was there at the walk around. Um, so she would be, you know, and Guilford was there. You know, we're not telling them anything they didn't experience. Um, and uh, so, and Pamela was there. And Philip was there. So um, I think we had we had a good audience. And I think some of them at least understood what the problem was. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. So I need a motion to adjourn. Thank you, everybody, for coming out on the for this extra <laughs> meeting. Before you um, take oh. a motion to adjourn, I do have just one um question and it does not have to be answered at the, uh, at the moment, but um, I think in year one, I had uh, mentioned that the DEI office was going to do staff training on accessibility that is going to come up in October. And so once again, I'm just in, um, inviting any member, one or two members of this committee to join me if they would like to do so. It's the third Friday in October. The trainings will take place at the Bangs Community Center, um, and it's from 8.30 to 10.30, but, you know, not everyone's expected to get here early if you wanted to come at 9.30 or um, for the last hour. So think about that, and if anyone's interested, please reach out to me. Okay, I hope somebody can do it. I actually cannot do it. I know that I cannot. Um, so I hope somebody else... We'll do it. I think it's a great opportunity for um, for people to get an expanded awareness of what DEI means um, and the fact that we're under the auspices of the DEI director um, says something from the town's perspective. And I guess... Um, it would I, if somebody could actually go and uh, represent, uh, you know, the disability community, that would be really good. Um, so if people can think about that, I would if I could, but I will not be able to. All right, I need a motion to adjourn. Sorry, Myra. One other thing. Um, this yep. Evening, uh, yep. Just wanted to point to Pamela's email from last night about the caravan at UMass Amherst uh, next week. Um, uh, read it yet. <laughs> UMass Amherst hosting the caravan for disability, freedom, and justice to celebrate disability as identity. Um, it, it's nine on the 25th. And just wanted to highlight that in case anyone is able to go. I'm, I'm not sure at this point if I'll be able to, but. Um, wanted to highlight that for people to celebrate disability as identity yes um, not sure I what that, means. that out yeah okay. i have to read it i'm not sure what it means yep. it's hard to i just don't i read it and i don't quite understand what it entails to do you want to speak to it ian um i mean i i could read out loud the the email um well, well, she read just, it, so she wants I read more. It, but I'm, I'm just not clear on when you go. What do you? It's a caravan. Caravan is traveling. So, uh, what, can I interrupt for just a second? Sure. Um, the, the, um, the event is called a caravan because the um, group that's that is presenting the information is traveling around the country so that's the travel oh, part oh, but your okay. attendance is simply to go to listen to um, speakers to find out information so it's inform it, it is informational about oh. aspects and it's also part of what has become 
a year long celebration of the anniversary of ADA. So that's, um, it's really meant to be an opportunity to learn and to have, um, to, to have um, information pre presented about the different uh, aspects that the ADA covers. And that caravan is really a reference to the fact that the presenters oh. are traveling around the country. So they are the caravan <laughs> aspect mm -hmm. of it. Oh, that's, that's, that's great. Going to have a lot of speakers or is it going to be like a fair? So I think it's going to be a combination of fair and speakers. So that's um, what it looked like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't get to celebrate disability as identity piece, but that's what language that they want to use, I suppose. Yeah. Um, okay. Thanks um, for clarifying. Okay. All right. Um, so it's okay. at UMass at the Student Center. Yeah. Okay. We'll start at the Hagus Mall. Outside. I well, do that's what that it's... some of, some of the um, some of the activities yeah. are going to be outside. Yeah, read the email. Read the it's interesting. Closely enough to give you a hundred percent accurate information about that. Okay. All right. All well, right. I hope that okay. uh, I hope that people um, go if they're so inclined and available. And sounds like an interesting idea. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing this. The next actually scheduled meeting is no October. Why do I keep thinking November? October 8th. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Have a good day. Got interrupted. I'm sorry? Our motion to adjourn got interrupted. So oh. <laughs> Yeah, we need a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn the meeting. Okay, I need a second. I'll second. This is Ian. And okay. And all in favor of adjourning, say yeah. yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. All opposed to adjourning. <laughs> Hearing no opposition, we're adjourned. Okay. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you. you too. Bye. 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 Bye.